Hey, it's Pastor Goodman, and this is the Drive to School podcast, and we're driving to school, and we're talking about some things that uh, I hope that you don't see in church this Sunday. Uh, this Sunday is Reformation Day, and so uh, Lutherans, we, we make a big deal about it. And so the thing that I hope that you don't see in church this Sunday is um, hope regulated to a niche hobby. Um, it, it's, it's so easy to sort of take the story of, of Martin Luther and, and, and lean into it uh, to the point where the only people who really care are the people who care about, you know, 16th century European history and, and niche theology from one Christian arguing with another. Uh, but Reformation Day is about hope. Um, and so the story of Luther is great. 95 Theses, that let's go. Um, if, if, uh, if, if you really are sitting on the, the keys to the kingdom of God, why are you selling it? I, I understand that. But the text that our Lord would leave us is that anybody who commits a sin is a slave to sin. But if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. And this is about hope. Because even if you don't have the words to it, even if you don't like the vocabulary of slavery, it's so easy to be owned by your vices. It's so easy to be owned by your sins, by trying to escape them, and by the guilt and the shame that are left behind even after, uh, even after they are gone. Anybody who commits a sin is a slave to sin. And we wrestle not only to, to sort of leave the past behind, to try to do a little bit better this time, but even leaving the memory behind, leaving the feeling, leaving the guilt, even just leaving the shame of knowing, even if nobody else does, this is a thing. This is a thing that you are. It, it, it starts to take over your whole identity. It starts to take over how you see yourself when you look in the mirror. It starts to take over the things that go unsaid but you think you hear when people talk to you because maybe they know anybody who commits a sin is a slave to sin but if the son sets you free you will be free indeed jesus enters creation not to rub your face in the pile that you made jesus enters creation to bear your sins upon the cross to bleed and to die for you and he doesn't sell it he doesn't leave it behind a hook where then you have to he just gives it for free to you this is what reformation day is all about the idea that the gospel should be preached to all ears so that everybody bound by guilt and and shame, sin, and death would hear the peace that surpasses understanding that is Christ has broken the bonds of death. Sin has been forgiven. Guilt and shame, they're owned by Jesus now. You don't get to own those anymore. You are free from those things because you are not known by those things. You are known by your Savior. Your Savior bleeds and dies for you. And this is the forgiveness of sins that lets Luther, with all of his anxiety, stand boldly to confess that this is something worth fighting for. This is something worth proclaiming, not simply to the people who already believe it and think that it's pretty cool to talk about history, but to all people struggling under the weight of the things of this world, whether or not they even know the, the diagnosis for their pain. The, re the Day of Reformation, uh, it, it's a wonderful thing for us because it is it's about hope. It is about freedom from your past, freedom from bondage, uh, freedom from the, the burdens of the law, because now we live in the freedom that the Son has given us. We, we live in the gospel. So go to church uh, this Sunday, hear the promises of Christ our Savior, and, and rejoice as you get to receive these gifts. They're not just talked about, but they're actually given to you. You get to go to communion. You get to kneel at, at a meal of, of freedom because here your sins are left behind at the altar and you get to go strengthened for the, the days to come. Here you get to, to sing hymns that, that stand in the face of death and actually proclaim hope to even to the people who are too afraid to sing them themselves. Go to church and, and, and celebrate Reformation Day, but not just for, for niche history. Do it for, do it for hope. So uh, yeah, do that thing.